We've overlaid a Flutter animated text kit widget on top of the Flutter Flame game using the overlay function of the Flutter Flame game system. Let's experiment with a few different fonts. Thanks to CodeBaker 1, we've decided to use a monospace font with a slightly retro feel. I'll first download VT323. I'm going to save it into the actual Flame Game project folder. So our project is called George. Into the assets slash fonts folder. This will be the fourth subfolder within the assets folder. I'm going to select an alternate font here so that we can flip between the fonts as we're designing our game. Using Google search, you can just search for arcade font and there is a wealth of these beautiful fonts that you could download and try out. After going through a number of these awesome sites with a wealth of fonts here, I decided to go to dafont.com and use this arcade line font by Yuji Adachi. Uh, the font artist is Yuji Adachi here. In your game, you can use a completely different font. This tutorial will work the same. All you need to do is save the zipped file into that same folder assets slash fonts and then extract it out so this one had three different uh, font types uh, we're just going to select one of them and i'm going to cut and paste the uh, font that we want to use into that top level level asset slats fonts directory just to make it a little easier for us in the code so we don't have to specify the subdirectory then i'm going to delete the zipped files uh, because we won't be using it. I'm going to create a text file called credits where I'm going to store the link to the file that I just downloaded. This is for future use so that maybe you might want to find that same font again or from the same artist. For example, the V323 by Peter Hull he did mention that there's a one-to-one -one aspect ratio of the fonts with a VT321. So if you liked his style, but maybe you wanted a slightly different variation of it, you could track down the artist and perhaps this, he has released it uh, for free under some type of open font license as well. It's not on the Google site. I, I did not search for it. I kind of liked the way his... The current style of this font was so I'm going to copy the license here as well um, just also you know in case you want to distribute it you may have to comply to the license these are it appears to be as far as I can tell completely free to distribute as far as I can tell you don't even need to distribute or credit the artist uh, for these fonts I think you do for some of the audio and the graphics uh, but it's probably easier right if you if you just record where you downloaded everything from as part of your game code here once you have the font on your subdirectory you can also just click on it and visually imagine it in your game and seeing if it's the type of effect that you want for your game this step could take you quite a while as you make a decision for the fonts. But once you've made the decision, go into the pubspec.yaml file and scroll back to the bottom. There's a section in the template file called fonts. For every font family, you're going to have to create a section for it. And this is in the case where you download the fonts and you store it locally in the assets. Because we're using the animated text kit, it's a little easier to download the fonts instead of using the uh, Google Fonts package on pub.dev. So it's fonts and then assets here. 
and the specific file name. Make sure that you're editing the section that says fonts and not the section that says assets. So you should not have any of your audio or images uh, files here when you're adding this thing into the pubspec.yaml. We're using two families. The first one from Google Fonts was VT323. The second one is Arcade, which we got from dafont.com. And the author for that one was Yuji Adachi. I've also cut and pasted the specific file um, from the subfolder when I extracted it into this folder fonts. So it's right off of the main project, right? Assets slash fonts and then the file name. This will make it a bit easier in the code. In the overlay system of our code, in the overlays folder, select the dialog underscore overlays dot dart file. Look for the section where we used either the typewriter or the typer animated text from the animated text kit. Look for the text style of our message and add font family colon and then the name of the string that you specified in pubspec.yaml. This is the same string I specified on line 84. I encountered an error, but by reading the error, it was pretty obvious that I had forgot to put a space on line 89 between the hyphen and the word asset. When I rerun it again, everything seems to be going fine. I often make that error when I'm adding uh, elements to the list in the, pub, in the YAML file. So I thought, so it looks pretty good. I think it's a little small for the VT323. Before I adjust the size of the VT323, I'm going to swap it out for the arcade. So it's just the name of the string once we set up the actual font. So you could have many fonts in your game and flip between them to see the effect that you want. Okay, so this, it does look very retro, but I'm thinking to me, it's a bit too retro where I, can, I want something similar to the pixelated uh, view. So I'm gonna use the VT323 that CodeBaker1 originally selected. I'm gonna bump up the font size to 28 and see how it looks. Uh, to me, it looks pretty good. So I think I'm gonna go with this. I'm just gonna do a quick test and make sure the other types of uh, textual elements come up. So you got the cake. Brings it over to the neighbor. This would be the largest piece of text. The uh, score overlay is actually, I just noticed it's moving up when the text is there, but I think I'm just gonna leave it because it's not that distracting. Okay, fantastic. Subscribe to the channel for updates on the more than 50 videos I've made on Flame. The videos with source code are also available for free on Teachable, 100% free course. This is a hobby. In whatever way you choose to learn, make sure you have fun and unleash your creativity. Have a fantastic day.